well-sutured wound will have uh, wound edges that join appropriately and don't curve downward. There are several techniques that you can use for that, but uh, one of the things to keep in mind are just don't pull too tightly on the, stitch on the suturing and pull it across nicely and see how they join. That appears to join quite well. You note how when I throw a suture, I don't pull it too tightly ac across. Many people make that mistake in their first stages of this. And they will tend to want to do too much. Many people ask how many sutures, uh, excuse me, how many knots do I throw for each suture? My sense is you want to throw enough. You want to throw enough to keep it tight and snug without doing too many or too few. If you do too few, it will become untied. It's the one thing that patients will notice. So make sure that you throw a good clean knot and you do a careful job with that. The other part of this is we're looking for the wound edges to come right up slightly because when you pull the, the suture out, the wound edge will fall back down. So you note, I'm driving in with my needle straight down and sending it across not involving the muscular tissue at all, but rather just as the dermis and the layers of the skin. This is the fibrous portion of the, of the tissue that we're getting through and pulling it through. I reload my needle, make sure I don't stick myself. Very important to make sure you don't do that. That turns a good situation bad. And I pick up the edge of the wound here, check it as a cross, same distance from the edge there and continuing. I push through the skin, pop through. Okay, and I pull the line. Try not to pull it all the way. Midway down here, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to always divide the wound in half. So I'm going to throw my next suture there. So, middle of the wound. Wrap twice in the first throw. I always start from the middle with a needle driver and go out. Word. Right there, closes it up nicely. I don't pull it too tightly because the wound edge will the wound edges will buckle on themselves. And they join just adequately. Not too tightly, not too loosely. That takes a little practice. And you always want to err on the side of safety and not pull too tightly. If you do, you may break a nylon suture as well and have to do this suture over again. But the stitches will go down very nicely. See how I'm doing that? I'm going from the inside of the wound, wrapping around, going out. Always from this needle driver, over the knot, wrap around, pull across. Single throw, inside, wrap around, throw across. Always that gives me the right to left. You note how we're trying to bring up the wound edge as best as possible. Maybe a few extra knots on there for demonstration, but keep a nice tail of that wound as well. Never want to cut the tails too short and don't want to leave them too long. 